All right, well, we hope you are very hungry this morning. If you are, you're in luck because it's one of our favorite segments of the week. You already know, you ready to do the dance with us? It is Foodie Friday, it's Foodie Friday. Friday. That's right, this is where we highlight local restaurant chefs and more throughout our region. Today and tomorrow, the community school is having its annual strawberry festival. And that's where we find WFXR's Hayes Marie Anderson. Hayes Marie, good day to you. Good day to the both of you. You know, we are very excited to be out here at Elmwood Park for the Strawberry Festival. We are donned up in our aprons because we're jamming out. I mean, we I'm are ready to see how many puns. There I are a do. lot. I'm impressed. <laughs> so we're here. I'm with, very impressed. <laughs> I'm here with Cassie. You know, Cassie, for people who are just tuning in, mm -hmm. How would you describe this Strawberry Festival? 43 years has 43 been going years on. 43 years we've been doing the Strawberry Festival to support community school. It is just the most wonderful festival atmosphere and a real sense of community here. It kicks off the spring and summer festival series here in Roanoke. It's just going to be such a fun two days. Perfect weather and we're super excited. Okay, so we have to talk about the strawberry we do shortcake uh wait is there a shortcut to the shortcake there is there is there is a shortcake shortcut for people who buy their tickets online in advance of the festival that you get to skip skip the line a little bit so we encourage everyone to do that so we're going to skip the line all together and build one get together your, your so how custom do, how do we here. build these these famous short uh strawberry shortcake strawberry shortcake shortcut. yep so they start with our homemade uh, shortcakes that our volunteers make. We've got about 10,000 shortcakes wow. ready for this festival. It's topped with a scoop of Homestead Creamery ice cream. Wow. And then some fresh strawberries, which were just cut by our volunteers yesterday and soaked in some sugar overnight Ooh, to wink, make them wink, extra wink, good. Yeah, and like then that. we top with some awesome whipped cream. Ooh, look how beautiful that it's is. The perfect breakfast. Absolutely, you know, perfect breakfast. It's simple, it's sweet, it's delicious, and it's yep. all for a good cause. It is. You know, you spoke about volunteers. Mm -hmm. How many volunteers does it take to put something like yes. this on? Because it's clearly a labor of love. It is, it is huge. It's about 2,400 volunteer hours that go into this. Mostly our parents, our students and alumni, teachers, friends, grandparents, um, all coming together to put on this two-day festival. It's wonderful. I mean, yes. you know, May is Strawberry Month. It is. And it's like, I, I mean, you said a heart. I said labor of love, you know, a lot of love yes. and this and yes. that. Don't they call strawberries like the heart fruit or it something is. like that? It is. I've heard that because the shape. Yep. See, I'm telling you, you, you go are. on and on. Well, be a whole <laughs> show in and of itself about strawberries. <laughs> Really Let's talk about the hours of operation yes. of where people can come and actually receive not just the shortcakes, but there are other sweet delights yes. that come with strawberries there are. too. The, the other winning one is uh, chocolate dipped strawberries. Mm -hmm. There's an assortment of topics that you can dip that berry in. So it's today, Friday, here in Elmwood Park from 11 to 4. And then tomorrow we will be here from 10 until, I'm sorry, today, oh, it's early. Uh, today is from uh, 11 to 6 and tomorrow is 10 to 4. Sorry you know, about that. personally, you know, before we wrap up, as a parent, you yes. know, you volunteer, but as a parent, what is it like for you to see the community come out oh, it's the best. And, and support the school? It is, it is the best. Our parents will start competing with each other in the food booth of like who can get the most tickets and who, who uh, can serve it with the biggest smile. And the parents just love getting to know each other and getting to uh, spend more time with the students and, and our teachers. And I love showing off our students. So we use them as volunteers whenever we can because they're just the best ambassadors we have of the excellence of a community school education. Absolutely. And if you haven't uh, tried one of these shortcakes, please make sure you come on down. I mean, when I. When Cassie says this is a good breakfast, yes. this is a really good breakfast. It's, very, it's healthy. It's fruit. Yeah, it's fruit. It's and dairy. Uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. I agree. It's fruits. Very yeah. nutritious mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. You right. have your dairy in here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's healthy. It's, it's like absolutely. fiber, right? From the bread. Exactly. The bread. You have carbs, all the food. I don't know. Right. Yeah, dairy fiber, yep. carbs, dairy, <laughs> carbs. Right. You it know, is all of the food groups. The dairy groups. has right. protein in it. it does. See, That's there you go. Exactly. We're all good. <laughs> all the food groups. Thank I'm going to toss it back to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hayes Marie. If you have a restaurant that you'd like us to highlight here on Foodie Friday, Good Day Virginia, let us know about it as he takes a big scoop. <laughs> right, head over to our website, wfxrtv.com slash news slash Foodie Friday to submit your suggestion. Yeah, he took a big scoop. I did, yeah. I'm sorry, this is good. It is really good, it is really good, especially with that ice cream on top. And with that being said, today might be a pretty nice day to grab some ice cream and of course one of these strawberry shortcakes as well.